everybody, it's me. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into the video. I'm just gonna talk to you about my locks and when I started them and what kind of products I'm using and where I'm at today. It looks kind of crazy because this is like fresh out of the bonnet. Like I just, I just woke up. I just, yeah, I just took the bonnet off and was like, let's go ahead and do this video because my kids aren't here right now. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, so I'm looking down because I got a little pad right here. I had to write everything down so I don't forget because I be forgetting all the time. Um, so I started my locks on January 2nd of this year. Um, I just did the two strand twist method as you can see. They're still there. Um, and I used aloe vera gel and ooh I can't remember what it's called but it's some type of locking gel I'll um, post the name of it in the description box because I can't remember right now um, and yeah that's pretty much what I did I just started with two strand twist and I just let my hair do what it was going to do and then we got up to our three week mark i noticed a little bit of budding um you know at my roots a lot of people starts kind of everywhere um you know you can get some at the end you can get some at the middle well all of mine are starting at the roots which is good. Um, it's good for me. I I don't really care, really. <laughs> um, so, yeah, three weeks. So, start a little bit of budding. And, I mean, I would just... I just kept letting it do what it's going to do. Um, and... Then, let's see. February 5th um, is when I washed and retwisted my hair. And that was at my five-week mark. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. Um, so, when... I've read that when you wash your locks, you need to retwist the same day. Um, that's true because if you don't, then your your roots are gonna start like matting together. And since you're locking your hair, it's so easy for your locks, I mean your roots to lock together. Because I know when I wash my hair, immediately after like when my hair started to dry i would have to pull my locks apart because um my roots had started to you know intertwine together with other locks and i'm not trying to um i'm not trying to free form and i'm not trying to um semi free form i'm just you know um i'm letting my hair do what it does but I'm not gonna um, retwist my hair unless I think that I really need it. Even though I'm starting my locks and you have to pretty much train your hair to lock, that's what the retwisting is. Um, I'm just letting it do what it's gonna do because I don't wanna retwist my hair too much and then my um, roots start, you know, thinning and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, my five week mark, I did a wash and a retwist. I used um, coconut oil on my scalp. And then I used um, aloe vera gel just to retwist. And I used the little clips to, you know, clip them down. And then I'm sorry. 
And then it took me forever. Yeah, it took me forever. So I pretty much just went to sleep with the clips in my hair because I didn't want to take the clips out and my hair still be wet. And then next thing I know, it looks like I didn't even really twist my hair, retwist my hair. Um, so yeah, that was that. And the next morning I just took them out. <clears throat> and um, next time I do a retwist, I'll be recording it, but I didn't have, you know, anything to record when I did that. So sorry guys. Um, so five weeks. Yeah, and then um, after I retwisted my hair, pretty much I, you know, just let it do its own thing. That's just what I've been doing to, with my hair lately. I've just been letting it do its own thing. Um, and let's see, today is the second, I believe. I, I hope. Yes. No, today's the third. I'm sorry. Today is March 3rd, 2019. Um, so, on the 6th of March, I will be at nine weeks of having my locks. And I just, I don't know. I just, I just love it already. Even though my hair is not locked, it's just so, for me, it's low maintenance. Like, <coughs> Sorry, because I was a loose natural before I locked my hair. This is much easier for me because I don't have to detangle every other day. I don't have to, you know, do a protective style before I go to bed so my hair won't, you know, get... It's just a, it's a lot with loose natural hair and I think I was almost two years... No, I was already two years. Yeah. I was already two years. So, it was a lot. And I had a lot of... My hair was thick, too. So, it, it always took me forever to do anything to my hair. And, um... Yeah. I mean, I can tell y'all why I locked my hair. I could, I'll do that in another video. Um, just so this one won't be so long. Um, so pretty much I'll let y'all look at my hair. So, and I have some that untwisted, they're like really stubborn. So like this one right here, untwisted. And it's like, who is thick right here too. And so I need to, I don't want to. I don't want to retwist my hair yet because all of my hair doesn't need to be retwisted. But I don't know what to do with it. I just, I have like six of them that are like that and they're like all in a circle. I'm not sure why. Maybe the parts are thicker. But I just haven't. I just let them do their own thing. Um, I've already had to combine some locks just like this one right here this was two but i just twisted them together because um i just had a baby four months ago so i'm going through postpartum shedding <sighs> and it sucks i mean it's not as bad <clears throat> as i've seen some other people but for me i don't like it i just don't because I normally have pretty, like, thick edges, and you know, but, like, right here, and right here, and then right there, those are, like, my sensitive spots. That's where I'm shedding the most, and, I mean, I had it with, I don't think I had it with my first son, but I had it with my second son, and back then I was relaxed, I think. Yes, I was relaxed. 
And I noticed it a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. But I feel like it's worse this time. But I kind of just let it, you know, do it, what it's doing. And I feel like uh, me going through postpartum shedding is kind of helping my hair lock up too. Um, <coughs> oh, I forgot to say this. Um, I just started maybe last week or maybe last week or maybe two weeks ago. Um, when I get in the shower, maybe every two, three days, I just wet my hair with the water, um, just to, you know, give it some more, I guess, moisture, um, just cause I know as a loose natural, my hair love water and I'm hoping that, um, with my hair just being like this and I'm wetting my hair that the shedding hair falls into the twists and it helps it um, lock more. Um, you know, I've only been doing it maybe a couple weeks, so I don't really know yet, but I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, and then I'll come back to y'all. But, you know, like you see this one right here, it looks so beautiful. It looks it looks like a lock, like right here. I think what happened is these are like too big or something. I'm not sure. But we're going to get them under control when I retwist my hair again. So I'm going to do a 360 for y'all. So that y'all can see. Here's the side. This is one of the sides. In the back. I can't turn around. I'm going to have to turn around the other way. I might have dandruff too. I'm not sure. Okay. And here's the other side. My head is itching. I might be coming to y'all with a wash and twist video sooner than you know. Like, some of them feel like they're really starting to lock, and I think that, uh, I don't know. I know that they're all not going to lock at the same time. Here's lock the back on this side. I know that the back of my hair is starting to lock um, faster, which usually happens because I sleep on my back. So, I guess the friction... I guess it's just the friction from, um, you know, moving and stuff. And then this one, the ones on the side are starting to lock just like these. They're like almost halfway, kind of like it just feels different. You can tell that the two strand twist is starting to diminish. So that's my hair, y'all. Um, if y'all have any questions or, you know, if I left anything out, um, ask me anything, I will... <coughs> answer any questions with as much knowledge as I know. Um, like I said, I'll be nine weeks, um, March 6th. So if you have any questions, just, you know, leave a comment and I'll comment back. No problem. If you have any ideas for, you know, videos that you want to see me do, then just let me know and I'll figure that out. Um, and in the meantime, peace.